Hey everyone, welcome to the Neighborhood Story Hour. I have some great news to start it off today. Did you know that God loves you? It's true, he loves you so much whether you know it or not. He can't help it. You are so special and he thinks you are the most special person ever. He wants to know you and he wants you to know him. So he'll do whatever it takes for that to happen. And that's what the story hour is all about. We're going to do our Bible story later. But first, I want to start by doing our warm-up songs to get us moving, okay? So we're going to do Zoom Zoom. Today we're going to do an underwater theme, which is super fun. But we're going to do the same song we did last week. Since pirates are a part of underwater, it's going to be Zoom Zoom Zoom. We're hunting for doubloons, which doubloons are treasure that pirates like to get. So we're going to do that one, okay? So rev up your pirate ships. Zoom, 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 we're hunting for doubloons. Zoom, 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 we're hunting for doubloons. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my pirate ship. Zoom, 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 we're hunting for doubloons. We're going to go down in five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Okay, we are going to follow the stars in our pirate ship. You all ready? Far, 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 we're following the stars. Far, 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 we're following the stars. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my pirate ship. Far, 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 we're following the stars. In five, four, three, two, one. Ahoy! Very good. That was awesome. Okay, we have one more. We're going to blast the cannon because pirates like to blast the cannon. That's just something they do. So we're going to have fun. Fun, fun, fun. We're blasting the cannon. Fun, fun, fun. We're blasting the cannon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my pirate ship. Fun, fun, fun. We're blasting the cannon in five, four, Three, two, one. Ahoy! <laughs> Good job, everybody. All right, we're going to do another fun one that we did last time. This one is uh, Over the Deep Blue Sea. Okay, ready? Here we go. Twas a sunny day when I went to play down by the sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, We're going this way, that way, forwards, back words up and down up and down over the deep blue sea hmm sometimes out on the water it can get windy let's do windy twas a windy day when i went to play down by the sea i climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me we're going this way that way forwards backwards up and down up and down over the deep blue sea Sometimes out in the water, it can get rainy. So let's sing about that. Ready? Twas a rainy day when I went to play down by the sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, we're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. And you know what? It even gets snowy. So let's finish with that. Twas a snowy day when I went to play down by the sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, we're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, up and down, up and down, over the deep blue sea. Well done, everyone. Good job. Well, we have a really special guest who's come to celebrate with us today our under the sea story hour theme and it is a really good friend of mine i'm so excited for her to get here she should be here any moment now sometimes i know la, she's la, coming la, by the la, way la, 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 la. Beautiful, Elena. I'm so glad that you're here. Everyone, this is Elena. Can you all wave at her? Hello. Oh, Elena, you just have the most beautiful voice. Oh, I am the most beautiful singer. You really are. You really are. Thank you. Where are you coming from today? Well, I left my grotto 
and I was just swimming in the blue sea with my dolphin friends, and we came across the most beautiful sunken ship. <gasps> wow, can you tell us what it was like? Oh, at first we were a little bit scared, but then we saw it was so beautiful on the inside, and we found beautiful jewels and jewelry. Oh, wow. And silverware. Silverware? It was beautiful silverware. Did you use it to brush your hair? Oh, yes. And then I found the most beautiful thing ever. What's that? Please there, tell us. It was a bottle. Hmm, that's interesting. But the most interesting thing was what was in the bottle. What was that? And it was a note, and it said, God loves you. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, it made my heart warm. Yes, that makes my heart warm too, Elena. Well, I'm so glad that you were able to share that message with us and all of us. Well, that message brightened up my whole day. So if you see someone today, you should tell them, God loves you. That sounds good. We'll do that, Elena. Thank you so much for coming from under the sea to join us. Oh, you're welcome. Would you mind just staying around? You can swim around a little bit and then come back for our worship song at oh, the end. Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, great. Because yeah. I, I really want to hear you sing again. Oh, okay. La, 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 la. <laughs> la, 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 la. Well, we'll see Elena again later. Isn't she just wonderful? And what a great message that God loves her and he loves you too. Actually going to read a story now about a fish that didn't have the best attitude. It didn't. Sometimes we don't, we don't always feel like having a good attitude, but if we can see things from a different way, sometimes our attitude gets better. So that's what this story is all about. It's called The Pout Pout Fish. This one is by Deborah Deason. Deep in the water, where the fish hang out, lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. I'm a pout, pout fish with a pout, pout face, and I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blah, blah, blah. Do you guys ever feel like just blubbing? <laughs> Well, along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend. Nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout, pout fish with a pout, pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, he is just so sad. Hmm, well, along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout, pout fish with a pout, pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. I hope he gets out of this mood, don't you? Well, along comes a squid, quite a slender, squiggly squirt. Squirt, sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope a mope? How about a smile? A little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a pout, pout fish with a pout, pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, Mr. Pout, pout. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms, covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hokey bokey soaking is an unattractive trait. 
says the fish to his friend, Mr. Eight, my chum. With a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum. You guys know it. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my goodness, he is just so sad. He needs someone who's really happy. I think that might be coming up. Now along comes a fish in a silent shiver, silver shimmer the gang has never seen before, this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout, and then she swims away. Hmm, let's see what happens with that, showing him a little kindness. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue, then he blinks and speaks at last. My friends, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. Huh. Let's see what he is now. I'm a kiss kiss face fish with a kiss kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch, smooch, smooch. Smooch. Ah, Mr. Pow Pow Fish just needed to see it from a different way. Sometimes that all that's all it takes is to have a positive attitude. Actually, what the Bible says, it says to see things and have joy and to choose joy and to be filled with the Spirit. We can do that every day when we have God in our hearts. We're going to do a fun underwater song. This one is by Charlotte Diamond, and it's called Slippery Fish. So we're going to sing it together with some hand motions. And what's, what happens in the song is things keep eating other things. So let's sing about it and find out who gets eaten and who's the last one. Here it goes. Slippery fish, slippery fish, sliding through the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, it's been eaten by an octopus, an octopus, swiggling in the water. An octopus, an octopus, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, it's been eaten by a tuna fish, a tuna fish, splashing in the water. A tuna fish, a tuna fish, gulp, gulp, gulp. Uh-oh, it's been eaten by something bigger. A great white shark, a great white shark, lurking in the water. A great white shark, a great white shark, gulp, gulp, gulp. Hmm, uh-oh, it's been eaten by, what would eat a shark? <gasps> a humongous whale, humongous whale, spouting in the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale, gulp, gulp. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Well, I guess it would burp because it did eat a lot of things. Okay, we're going to do another fun song. We are going to do a really fun song, and it is called the Pirate Song, or the Silly Pirate Song. And we're going to do different parts. So I'm going to be the pirate, and I have special helpers throughout the way, so you guys can pick which one you like the most and sing that one, okay? All right, here's how it goes. Once there was a pirate who sang a pirate song, but interrupting the pirate, Batman came along. He sang yo ho ho he he he. Hi, I'm Batman. A pirate's life for me. Once there was a pirate who sang a pirate song, but interrupting the pirate, a mermaid came along. He sang yo ho ho he he he. La la la. Hi, I'm Batman. A pirate's life for me. Once there was a pirate who sang a pirate song, 
but interrupting the pirate, a shark came along. He sang yo ho ho he 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 chomp chomp. Hi, I'm Batman. A pirate's life for me. Once there was a pirate who sang a pirate song, but interrupting the pirate, a bunny came along. He sang yo ho ho he he he. Ha ha. Chomp chomp. Hi, I'm Batman. Pirate's life for me. A pirate's life is not for me. There are too many interruptions. Okay, good job, you guys. You did so good singing that. It was awesome to hear you guys sing along with me. Okay, we are going to continue our Bible story from last week. This is part two of Jonah. So if you remember, our Jonah character is supposed to be our hero. And he's stuck inside the belly of the beast. And it was dark and the air was suffocating. And it was very, very stinky. Jonah was completely helpless with no way out. It looked like the end was near for Jonah. In that moment, Jonah realized that the God he was running from actually was always within reach. So Jonah praised God in these dark hours. Then God spoke to the fish. And it spit out Jonah onto dry land. Now God spoke to Jonah and he told him to go to Nineveh. This time, Jonah listened. Jonah got in front of all the Ninevites. All Jonah said to these people was this. He said, in 40 days, Nineveh will be destroyed. Well, that's not the greatest message, but guess what? The people of Nineveh heard these words and they immediately started to cry out to God. And they started to turn from their wicked ways. The king commanded all of them to cry out to God and to ask God to show mercy on him so that maybe he would change his mind. Well, when God saw that he turned, they turned from their wicked ways and were begging for forgiveness, he had compassion and mercy on them, and he didn't destroy Nineveh. Now, was Jonah a hero? He did finally do what God told him to do. Though, through and through Jonah's words, God spared Nineveh of punishment. Now, a hero would have been really excited about the lives that were changed, but instead, Jonah was weak. He prayed to God, and he said, he said, God, I knew you would do this. This is why I ran away to Tarshish. I knew you are too good, and those people are bad. They deserve to be punished. Well, God asked Jonah, he said, is it right for you to be angry? Jonah just walked out and left the city. He built himself a shelter in a shade. And he sat and he just watched and waited to see what would happen to Nineveh. Maybe they would mess up again and God would punish them. Well, while Jonah was sitting there, God wanted to teach him another lesson. And so he prepared a plant to grow, grow over Jonah. It became very hot that day. And so it gave him a nice shade and comfort. Well, it, it worked. Jonah was delighted. And by the early morning, he was happy with the plant. But God sent a worm to destroy the plant. And it became very hot. And the sun beat down. The sun beat down on poor Jonah. And guess what Jonah did? He cried for the plant. He mourned for the plant. He said, why is this plant gone? His one comfort was gone. And he cried in anger to God. But God asked Jonah. He said, Jonah, is it right for you to be angry? Jonah, you're so sad about this silly little plant. Did you make it grow? It only lasted for one night. You're so sad about this silly little plant, and what does it matter? Shouldn't I be sad for Nineveh? There are thousands of confused people here who need help. 
Now this story is so good and he puts it in the Bible because he wants us to learn a lesson. Not that we should act like Jonah, but kind of that we shouldn't. We should, our thoughts are not God's thoughts and our ways are not God's ways. His ways are so much better than ours and he sees the good in everyone and he wants everyone to know him so that he can be with everybody and he has compassion and love for everyone, even people as horrible as the Ninevites. So that's what I want you guys to do today. I want you guys to tell people about God's love and tell either your parents or your siblings or friends. If you have a neighbor, you can tell them how much God loves them because God does. He loves you and he loves them so much. Elena, we are going to do our worship song today. Are you ready to sing with us again? Oh, uh, I am. Hey, one thing though, before you sing, you must warm up your vocal cords. Oh, how yeah. do I do that? I should have done this earlier. Ah! Oh. Can you do that at home? Ah! <laughs> oh, it's magic to my ears. I think theirs sounded a little bit better than mine. Okay, we're ready. Okay, you guys good? Let's go. We're going to sing He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. Do you know that one? Oh, I know the mermaid version. Perfect. We'll sing that one. Okay. <laughs> all right. We're going to do the hand motions too. We're going to make a circle with our fingers. Can you all do that? That's for our world. Just like this. Perfect. Yes. Just like Elena. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the little tiny fishies. In his hands, he's got the little tiny fishies. In his hands, he's got the little tiny fishies. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the sand on the seashore. In his hands, he's got the sand on the seashore. In his hands, he's got the sand on the seashore. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Wow! That was so good, you guys. Wow. Excellent singing. Weren't they great, Elena? It, it was beautiful. Oh, wonderful. Well, I'm so glad that you were able to come. We always end with a goodbye song. Would you Aww. like to sing it with us? Yeah, it's just sad it's, I know, goodbye. it's time to say goodbye. But I'm so glad that you all were able to join us for our underwater uh, story hour. And I hope you guys have a great week. So we're going to end with our goodbye song. All right. Here we go. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Goodbye. And remember, if you guys want to keep the fun going, you can click the link below. Um, you can choose, there's two scarf versions, there's an egg shaker, and there's rhythm sticks. So you can choose different activities if you want to keep doing those. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.